guys welcome to another video um i'm not gonna do any talking here because i'm sure people are here just to see res one so um i live on the fourth floor i'm all right it's kind of pointless if i show you what it looks like because you know there's only six ra dorms but i mean it's fairly small but it's fine um, i'll show you the view and then i'll show you each floor and kind of what's cool about it so this is my view um these colleges over there uh, Lucy and Mason are over there, and the GCPA is right there, obviously. Okay, so this is from the south side of the building. That's the uh, west side, and the south wing. Uh, this is the back, and then obviously behind me is Humbert. So in the back area, there's a, a area for like a picnic table and a bunch of tables. Then you can see inside from there. So between the knuckle, which is this part up here, uh, there's obviously two different parts. This is a private area that students aren't allowed in. Uh, we have these rocks and all that stuff in the staircase. It's only way up right now because of COVID. And then here's Locust Street to the uh, south side of the building. So then here's just the other side west side I think so inside the side door there's um, two single-use bathrooms that are both handicap accessible and then just an electrical closet or whatever uh, when you walk in from this door you come to the left and the staircase that goes up only right now is right there as well as some just nice little seating on the sides Um, there's also a monitor right here, which like stuff is going to be on about the building or the school, safety stuff. And then the office of the coordinator. This is the back side of the picnic area. The kitchen. Uh, there's really nice appliances that we can't use. So towards the back of the building, the more west side of the south side, of the back of it, uh, there's you know, some machines, whatever. And there's also an ice machine that we have, as well as a water bottle filler. Um, in the very back corner, corner, there's a bathroom, the bendet, and then as well as a um, thing to clean your feet off from the meditation room, which is right next door. And it's right here. Um, and then our laundry room has all new washers and dryers, obviously, but. Um, second floor, which is the green floor. Um, each one has like a different layout. So the green one has matching furniture. So like there's green stuff over there, green stuff over there to match the paint that's over there. But yeah, and then I'll show only my floor of the wings, just because they're all the same. But here's a view of the second floor. Okay, so here's the third floor, which is blue. Um, and then the kitchenette, those are all the same. Just different colors in the back. Okay, so then the fourth floor has like high raise ones, which I'm assuming we're gonna get rid of a lot of seeds because of COVID. Um, only these chairs match our furniture or our walls. I just realized that too. But obviously, this side has the best view because you can see over the GCPA, all the way to East College. Every floor has only one, unfortunately. They all have a recycling chute, which we can't use yet. And then we also have like a trash chute. Just click the button, pull them. Like my trash from there is still there from yesterday. So it won't go down until it's full. And then there's also a camera in here. So that's nice, at least for my part. So they have this little cool thing here too. You can write on it and it has like outlets on it too. This is the view from this thing. So this is the other side. 
Um, and so it has like a divided table, which um, is kind of cool too. And obviously over there you can see it and like the windows are super tan, so you can't really see what's going on. People can't really see you inside. But yep, that's Res 1. Something cool about, also about Res 1, um, this isn't gonna matter because doors are gonna be open, but also like all the lights are energy efficient, so they'll close, or they'll turn off when you're not there. Three sinks, uh, super cool. Um, Res 1 has five bathrooms per floor. So one men's, one woman's on each side, unless it's like a all women's or gender specific or anything. Uh, every shower has its own door, like from ceiling to floor with blocks on it, and like a little room to go after you before the shower. Um, the showers are actually really small compared to any other one that I've ever been in, compared to at the ball. But I mean, nobody's gonna complain. And then the um, stalls are also kind of small. But I mean, obviously they're really comfortable to be in. And then the handicapped one, or the wheelchair accessible one, has a shower and a stall, which is super cool. Um, and the shower in here is probably one of the biggest showers, aside from the next room I'll show. Okay, so right next to all the RA dorms, which are like in the middle, right in front of this little section, is the like single use restroom, kind of for, I don't know, maybe the RA convenience or someone that needs a wheelchair or just needs to be more accessible. Oh, this is by far the biggest bathroom. So yeah, this is like by far the biggest bathroom. The shower is huge. Like I showered here. It's a little inconvenient though because water gets everywhere and it's kind of annoying. So hopefully people don't shower in here. But I can see why they would because you know, you get your own private bathroom. It's super cool. Um, you know, the sink and everything. Two more things real quick. Um, Everyone wanted to know about this for some reason. So it works just like a hotel. So you put it in front, flash is green. You come back in, flash is red, then it's locked now. And then when you go in, kind of something bad is you have to like really push it in to get it secure. And then you're set. This has been really cool. I just unlocked it because it caught me walking. But all the doors are like, it's like super safe. So everybody has to be code in. Like the door won't just be unlocked. So basically here, I have to scan in and then that door will unlock up there and then we can walk through. It's all in res one. I hope um, that helps everyone because I know everybody wants to come in. I've had to tell so many people now. Hopefully, you know, things get changed and everybody can come see it themselves. But I know that a lot of people want to see it. So I hope this helps. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.